Hi guys, and welcome back to the Tea Bar. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vince, and this is Tiki Bar. Today we are making the classic margarita. Starting off, grab your shaker, put it over this. Grab your measuring. Two ounces of tequila, 100% agave. Two ounces of tequila. Oh yeah, 100% agave. Blanco, of course. Half an ounce. One ounce of lime juice. Freshly squeezed, of course. One ounce of lime juice. One ounce of lime juice. And one ounce of orange liqueur. To make a really good margarita, you have to pick a really good orange liqueur. This is my secret. Okay. One ounce of orange liqueur. In 1939, the classic margarita was invented by Carlos Herrera. Grab the top and shake hard. Garnish. Use a rocks glass. Salt rim. The salt rim. Use a lime wedge. Put it around the side. And then, we have margarita salt, regular salt, whichever one you have. Move the glass sideways. So the salt won't go into the glass, only outside the glass. Salt the rim, sideways, like that. And then, grab a lime wedge, put it at any corner in the back to make a good presentation. Grab a scoop back. The story of this one, a woman by Majori King was allergic to all spirits except for tequila the tequila was too harsh for her to drink that Carlos Herrera invented a margarita perfect with triple sec orange liqueur and lime juice and tequila. Put it together, shake it up, and the classic margarita is born. Pour it down. into the glass. I give you the classic margarita. Classic margarita. Quite delicious indeed. Coming up next, the Tommy's margarita. The Tommy's margarita. A little bit interesting about this cocktail right here. It was made by Carlos Danny Herrera, like classic margarita. But there's another person in Mexico says he invented this cocktail. Basically, the name Julio Bernito, I apologize if I mispronounced that, but said he invented the Tommy's Margarita, but 
Everybody knows the original creator was Carlos Danny Herrera, which opened the restaurant in San Francisco called the famous uh, Tommy's Mexican restaurant in San Francisco. Starting off, grab your shaker, get ice, grab some nuts. This recipe is different from the classic. First, two ounces of 100% Blanco tequila. Pick any one you have that's 100% agave. Two ounces of Blanco tequila. One ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. One ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And half an ounce of agave syrup. Agave nectar, agave syrup. Blue agave, of course. Half an ounce of agave syrup. Mm. Yummy. Now, put the top on. Hard shake for 30 seconds. Just like the classic, the garnish will be the same, salt rim and lamb wedge. Salt rim and lamb wedge. Grab the lamb, half bar on the side. Get your margarita salt, or whatever salt you have on choice. Like I showed you guys, side. Gently tap so it doesn't get into the glass. If you want, you could do half glass of salt rim, if you don't like salt at all, but I'm doing full. This, come on, a margarita, everybody loves salt. Some people don't, but everybody do. And with this one, a lot of people call this dirty dumping. Basically, it's using the ice that's already in the glass, in the shaker, and pouring it down. There's also other names to it. Gently pour it down like that. I give you the Tommy's margarita. Tommy's Margarita, quite delicious indeed. Coming up, a classic you should know, the Cadillac Margarita. The Cadillac Margarita could be in any type of glass, a margarita glass for frozen margaritas, or a regular rocks glass if you choose, even a medium glass in between. But starting off, grab your shaker of choice and fill with ice. Fill with ice. This one is different. First, two ounces, of course, of your 100 Blanco tequila. 100 proof, 100 agave. Two ounces of Blanco tequila. Make sure it's 100% agave. One ounce. A freshly squeezed lime juice. One ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And for a trip, a typical Cadillac, there's two orange liqueurs made in. First and foremost, a triple sec or any orange liqueur you can get your hands on. One ounce of orange liqueur. 
And for the topping, it would be an ounce of Grand Marnay. So, the lid on, shake for 30 seconds. Rock glass and fill it with it. Grab your hot plate and strain it. Grab your hot plate and strainer and pour it right in. Look at that. Close to the top. This one usually has no rinse. And one ounce of grand marnie. One ounce of grand marnie to float on top. Place the grand marnie. Put it on top of the And Gently, carefully, put your lime water jelly on it. And voila, I give you a Cadillac Margarita. Quite delicious indeed. Who'd have figured that this cocktail was probably made in Mexico just for a club of people that had Cadillac cars? But to be honest, I think Carlos Danny Herrera created this one as a luxury. He created this one as a luxury. But who knows? Anyway, next up, the spicy margarita. Starting up, grab your shaker. Fill it up with ice. Fill it with ice. Starting up, you're gonna need two ounces of mango tequila, 100% agave. Two ounces of mango tequila, 100% agave. One ounce of lemon juice, recipes, of course. One ounce of lemon juice, press the squeeze. One ounce of simple syrup. One to one, one cup sugar, one cup water. One ounce of simple syrup. And to get a spicy margarita, get a jalapeno or habanero infused tequila. Half an ounce of habanero or jalapeno infused tequila. And one scoop of ice, one scoop of ice, and our cake.
for the garnish for this one. Grab your rocks glass from the freezer. Grab your rocks glass from the freezer. This one is different. So, before we do this, I'm going to show you a trick. Grab a line. Grab a net. Grab a line. Move it all around the glass. This one, you're gonna do half side salt. Margarita salt or whatever salt you could get your hands on. Half side salt. And for a good garnish for a spicy margarita, you're gonna get tahini seasoning. Tahini seasoning. If you, have a, if you don't have a plate, you can put this on your cutting board like I am doing right now. And for the other side. And for the other side, grab your rocks glass. Gently tap. Gently tap on the opposite side where there's no salt. Get a good amount of tahini. Good amount of tahini. Tahini on the bread. Tahini on the glass. Place the wedge in between the salt and the tahini. And double strain the hot Get that glass away. After the salt, gently pour the ice in. In glass. Look at that. I give you the spicy margarita. Spicy margarita, spicy and delicious. Depending on what tequila you use. Speaking of spicy, you need something sweet. How about the pineapple margarita? Starting off, grab a scoop of ice. First off, two ounces of Blanco tequila, 100% agave. 100% agave. Two ounces. One ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. One ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And then one ounce of freshly squeezed pineapple juice or from the can. Hmm. One ounce of pineapple juice. Delicious. And half an ounce. Or orange liqueur. Your choice orange liqueur, triple sec, Grand Marnay, Comfort, or any other brand. So, orange liqueur, half ounce. Then, fill your shaker with another scoop of ice. Fill your shaker with ice. And then, top off. Put the top on. Heart shake for 30 seconds.
So for this one, for a pineapple margarita, there's two choices you could do. You could do salt with coconut and a little sugar, mix it up in a plate, or you could do a salt rim with pineapple, or what I'm doing, grab a lime wedge, pull it around the, pull it around the glass, Grab your salt or margarita salt, whatever you have. A good amount of salt. Salt the rim on the outside. Gently tap it. Your choice if you want to do half, if you don't like salt. Your choice if you want to if you don't want to put a lot of salt, put it on top. Then, get scoop eyes, one scoop eyes. Gently put it in so it doesn't mess with the salt rim. Gently push it in. Is the salt rim. Then, if you don't have pineapple, powdered pineapple, or any others, get two leaves of pineapple, spray, gently push it in in the back between the ice. Make sure the leaf hits the very bottom. The very bottom of the ice hole. And then, Grab your Hawthorne strainer and top it off. Ooh, look at that. All the way to the top. I give you the pineapple margarita. guys I give you classic margaritas and its variants step-by-step -step guide which is your favorite my personal may be the classic margarita or this Tommy's hey maybe even the Cadillac you might like that who knows are you a little spicy have a spicy margarita or a little sweet or a pineapple margarita right here hmm? well tell me by comment below and also don't forget to like subscribe and hit notification button so more videos could be sent to you or notified that it's on so thank you Mahalo and have a good day. Tu dinero, pa' que invites una ronda